Just yesterday, and you've reported this, the president backed down on his 529 proposal, yep. that is uh, taxing the gains on uh, college uh, funds. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's a sort of an interesting, first I think it was a horrible provision that he put forward to begin, to begin with. with. Uh, Politically or policy? Or both? Uh, both. Oh. Yeah. both. Uh, but secondly, and, oh, yeah. and Tim Pawlenty criticized it, but the, the point is, is that it already shows, without doing anything on the Republican side, the administration is backing away from their own provisions less than a week ago. With Miranda Khan, J.D. Hayworth back on America's Forum, the interestingly coiffured Bart Chilton, the uh, former commissioner of the U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission on Bloomberg TV, discussing the president's withdrawal of that proposal he had to tax 529 education plans. Nice choice of adjectives there. Yes, I thought so. The White House said Tuesday it's dropping its proposal to scale back tax benefits of college savings plans amid a backlash from both Republicans and Democrats. But is this change in direction getting the coverage it should from the dominant media culture? Well, we couldn't think of anyone better to join us to discuss this further than Rich Noyes, the research director at the Media Research Center. Rich, as you Skype in from Washington, our thanks to have you back. This tax proposal, it, it got nipped in the bud, but did, did the networks cover this at all? Very, very little. I mean, this is the kind of a, uh, you know, this was a president who, when the State of the Union was presenting himself as the champion of the middle class, this was a tax increase aimed right at a popular middle class tax provision. Uh, you know, there's uh, millions of these accounts, 70% of them with people who make under $150,000. They, they were trying to spin this as somehow uh, a, a, a treat for the rich. Uh, if this had been a Republican president, the media would have been you know, finding angry parents, they'd have been finding students who were helped by this program, they would have made a firestorm over this. This provision got zero attention when it was announced on ABC, a few seconds on NBC, a few seconds on CBS, so, there, and there was no criticism of it whatsoever. The withdrawal of it got a few more seconds on CBS this morning, this week, nothing on ABC, nothing on NBC. You know, there's no way you can say the media were the ones that pressured the president to back down on this because they, they said nothing negative about this uh, in all the days that this was out there. So, Rich, why do you think that is? Why would the media ignore it, basically? Well, I think that they see this president as someone they don't want to uh, do anything to make his life more inconvenient. This was a, a, a I think, politically very klutzy proposal. It sort of uh, uh, undermined everything he was trying to sell in the State of the Union. If you were to talk about this, it would make him look bad. So they just didn't talk about it. Then when it went away, it makes him look like a flip-flopper. Well, don't talk about that either. So for most people who watch ABC, CBS, NBC, unless they're paying very close attention, they don't know anything about this embarrassing uh, debacle. So in a sense, is this a textbook example, Rich, of the rise of alternative media, such as, well, maybe Newsmax TV and other outlets where we let people know what's going on? Did that help start the grassroots rebellion against this tax plan? Oh, I think so. I think it might, you know, it would have gone faster, I think, if it had been something that was, you know, the mainstream media had taken care of. But no, the word did spread about this and people, you know, nobody had a positive word to say about this. This is a program that works. It's popular. People like it. Yes, you know, rich people take advantage of it. President Obama himself has pumped $240,000 into his girls' accounts, another fact that wasn't mentioned on the big three. Uh, but yes, alternative media did help keep it going. And I think it shows that there's there's other pathways, other avenues. The media monopoly is at least cracked a lot, if not completely broken. It, were you, I was just curious, were you surprised how quickly this just kind of disappeared, this whole idea for two years of free college? Or community college? <laughs> community college. 15 seconds on this, Rich. I was going to say, that did get a lot of boost, booster coverage from uh, the big three networks, but it's not going to go anywhere in Congress either. So I think that's why it's not being heard from ever again. And uh, finally, just the, uh, the implausible premise of taking money away from people saving for college to give to community college folks, it wasn't going to work. Rich Noyes, we very much appreciate uh, your perspective as you Skyped in from the Media Research Center. Now, still to come, Miranda, mm -hmm. one of my old congressional pals, Michael Patrick Flanagan joins us from Washington to talk about Chuck Hagel and his departure from the Pentagon. That's when we come back.